Parotian Galpagian, Armenia. Born Fluent. The Holocaust. Boon Liang, Cambodia. Pascal Binyura, Russia. Adam Sheikh Terab, Darfur. Eloise L. once said, Memory can be a graveyard, or it can be the true kingdom of man. We launched in 2012, we read names for 10 hours, and we've built that campaign to last 24 hours every year in April. And now our vision is to take that global and to do this on one day for a 24 hour period. We have the world's attention where we're reading names of victims from all different genocides. We can come together and recognize those that have suffered the, the worst that humanity can conjure. And if we do that, then that truly will be the epitome and at least one example that we can cling to that shows what humanity can be at its best. As far back as I can remember, my grandparents shared with me their stories. And I would hear their stories of their time in Europe when they were persecuted. One year in particular, I found myself at the gates of my grandfather's concentration camp, Mauthausen. Actually, the way that my great-grandfather was murdered with a two by four, get beaten so many times to the point that it killed him. And my grandfather screamed. The, the guy inflicting the harm said, if you don't be quiet, you're next. At that moment, my grandfather didn't have the right to truly, to, to didn't have his right of free speech to intervene, to do something. That day, my grandfather lit a fire in me, which would go on to reveal my responsibility to fulfill the promises of never forget and never again. History repeats itself only if we allow it to. I truly believe that peace building starts at home. It starts in your local community. If you can't reach out to someone who's different from you, then how are we to do it as a country to another nation or another people or another culture? So it all starts with, with the names, right? And there's something really powerful about saying a name, the Holocaust, a name, Cambodia, a name, Rwanda, a name, Bosnia, a name. There's too many to even say, right? But it's critical for us to try to make that list of all of those victims because those that suffered deserve it, but also if we don't do it, then we'll be doing a disservice to ourselves for, for future generations. We say never forget and never again, but how many happened again? We can author our collective story and change the way that things are happening in the world. Can we build a like one global network that when the time comes, when some sort of conflict or atrocity is happening in the world, we are connected enough that we can say, okay, how are we going to respond together? and we compel our political leaders to give others the space and the right to memory, to justice, to healing, and of course, safe refuge. There are millions of folks around the world who have lost their lives, yet they do not have a final resting place. And so by reading names, even for just a fleeting moment, a second or two, we can say, you know, you existed, you were a person, you mattered. We've made our choice. We are building this global campaign but we also want you to be a founding voice in this movement and to join us as we remember humanity at its worst to inspire humanity at its best.